All right, welcome back to Adobe Animate CC. In this tutorial, we're going to introduce actions, uh, actual code to our animation. So if I hit enter here on the stage, we'll run through the animation. Everything looks fine. You know, I definitely dig the animation. At the end here, though, however, these bars appear. The reason why that happens is because on the timeline, the uh, mask layers are a little bit short. So I'm going to click inside there and just hit F5 to add a frame to each of these basically and now when I hit enter uh, what will happen is those bars won't appear at the end because uh, we don't want that to happen really now um, this is just a preview of our actual animation in order to truly test it we need to go to the control menu up here and go down to uh, test and uh, there's an option here of control enter you can do the test movie in browser which is what I have uh, chosen to do, and it's Command Enter on the Mac. So when you do that, it launches web browser, and here you can see the animation play and get a truer indication of what it's going to look like on the web. And um, you'll notice that it, the animation is constantly looping; it's not stopping, so people can't even read, you know, zombie outbreak warning. You know, if this is a title to a game or something like that, uh, it's just constantly looping. So we want it to be able to stop at a certain point. So that's what we're going to focus on here. So we're going to do this in the timeline here. Uh, we're going to go to the very top layer and add a new layer above it and double click on it and title it actions. So these are the, essentially the for actions it's the um, it's the code that will basically allow you to, to stop things. So I'm going to click on the last frame here, right click and insert a keyframe. And so uh, by selecting that frame there um, and let me zoom in just to make sure I have it selected. Sometimes it's hard to see, but I have it selected here. I'm going to hit Window and go to Actions here, and that'll open up this palette here where we can write our code. And um, if you know, you know, Code Action Script, you can write it by hand. Um, and there's some options here to pin the script, uh, insert instance path unnamed, find format code, code snippets, and help. The one that's really great is the, the code snippets. When you open that up, you get this window that pops up. And you can find it under Window, and you'll see their code snippets. Um, there's three different types available. The Action Script, uh, which is standard with Flash, HTML5 Canvas, and, and WebGL. We're going to open up the HTML Canvas, and we want to go to Timeline Navigation, twirl that open. And you can see several uh, things here. What we can do: go uh, get current frame number, uh, click and go to frame and stop, click and go and frame and play. And the one we want is a stop at this frame. So all I have to do is double click on that, and poof, it appears in here. Now, uh, what the first part here is basically grayed out is is basically telling you what is this code doing here. So it's going to stop at this frame. The timeline will stop pause this frame where you insert this code. Can also be used to stop pause the timeline of movie clips. So this dot stop with the parentheses here and the semicolon is the code. So you don't really need to have this um, this information here. So we could delete that if we want to, just to clean up the code a little bit. And um, pretty much that will allow us to stop as we click out here you'll see that there's an A here for action on the timeline now. So now when we go to window, uh, I'm sorry, control, and go to, to uh, test the movie out, you'll see here when it launches that it'll actually stop at the end of the timeline. So we'll see it right here. And just like that, it stops. Ta-da! So that's our first bit of code in Adobe Animate CC. It is literally called the stop command. So uh, in the future, we'll probably apply some more code. Uh, perhaps we'll add some audio effects. Uh, but that, that's it for uh, this tutorial. Let's go ahead and just play that one more time to look at it and just to show you that basically it will um, only play once, once again. There it is. And the zombie outbreak warning. Looks good. All right, until next time. Cheers.